Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy Saturday. Let us pray. Father, Lord, King of kings, Lord of Lord, thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your protection. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful time in your presence. Holy Spirit, bless us no more of you. Teach us yourself. And when you are done, please take all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. How was your week? I'm sure you've had a very, very, very wonderful week. Now, the topic before us is be a boundary crosser. Be a boundary crosser. Ah, what does that mean? We remember the story of a man called Jabez in 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10. The Bible says God granted the prayer of a man called Jabez. Jabez is a boundary crosser. That's who and what we must be. Now, well, let's look at the name Jabez. What, what's the meaning of Jabez? Jabez means a cause of pain. It was a label from, from young age. Imagine somebody when somebody is bearing the name pain, shame. So it had become like our names are labels, you know. So it had become a label. Everybody knew him as a cause of pain. Among his peers, among his friends, among everybody, everybody knew that the meaning of your name is cause of pain. But you know what? He refused to wear it. And a prophecy he refused to fulfill. We also must be like that. You must reject what you don't want. People might label you with a name. Don't accept it. Don't let the prophecy of whatsoever it is that people call you to be who you are. You'll be shocked. Whatever it is that you call yourself, you eventually become it. I remember there's somebody I know that they used to call that person London. That even though the person had not traveled, eventually they are based in London. Because that name, you know, labeled on them. That's what they weren't born in England. They were not born in the United They were not born abroad. But because right from childhood they labeled them that name, eventually it happened to them. So it is so, 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 so important for you. You must not allow anybody call you what you do not want to be labeled for. Somebody might say it's inle illegitimate. You are this, you are that. Don't allow it. The Bible says in Psalm 139, verse 13 to 15. Psalm 139, verse 13 to 15 says, You were in God's mind before you were in your mother's womb. I paraphrase that. And if the intent that God has for us is for good and not for evil, meaning that the mind that God has for you before you were born is great. You being a woman is for a reason. You being a man is for a reason. And you are meant to be great and you are great. You must say that when you wake up in the morning, say it. Don't let no one label you who you do not want to be. So the question is, who are you going to believe? Jabez wouldn't let his beginnings dictate his end. We're coming to the end of the year now. December is just around the corner. Coming to the end of the year. There are a lot of things that you have had expectation for and all of those things. Don't let it dictate your end. Don't conclude and just end it like that and say, it's finished. It's not yet finished. Jabez said, oh, that you will bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm. And God granted his request. We need to start praying. We need to break out in the place of prayer. You know, sometimes among us as children of God, people might not say it in your front, but their attitude. Oh, that sister, that single mother, that single father, that jobless man, that jobless sister, that person that their marriage, they failed, they are the second wife. That one that something, they, they will indirectly, they will tell you. Don't allow it. I remember somebody asking me a very personal question. Some, is it this year? I think it was this year. I just ignore the person. Because what's your business? With my life. You know, so you meet different type of people in life. So things that you are not comfortable with, things that you yourself is something that you, you do not want, then reject it. If, for instance, right now you are jobless, Begin to say, I'm not jobless. Don't be doing pity party, pity party, pity party. I'm not jobless. I've got a job. 
It might not be happening. You are speaking faith. You are not lying. Eventually, it will happen. Instead of settling for less, you begin to start believing God for more wisdom, more strength, more victory, more character, more favor, more blessing. And then you find out that you break that boundary. Jabez, at the time of his prayer, things were not working out for him. But he prayed, I do not want this. Enlarge me. And God granted him. Only twice in the New Testament do we read that Jesus Christ marveled. And what was those two times? It was over those that had determined faith, rugged faith. On some people who ask for and believe that it will turn things around for them, Jesus marveled. No wonder the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9 to 10, that no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has conceived what God has prepared for those who love him. But God has revealed to it to us by his spirit. God has something he wants to show you concerning your future. So what do you do? Get into his presence and stay there until you see it. Do not allow anyone label you what you do not want to be called. Rather, my brother, my sister, get into his presence. Stay there until you see it. And your testimony will surely manifest and all eyes will see it. Remember. Be a boundary crosser in your family. Be the first to build a house. Be the first to get married. Be the first to give birth to triplets. Stay in his presence and you will see God's vision for your life. Let us pray. Father Lord, thank you Lord for today. Help us Lord. As you help Jabez, help me in Jesus name. Amen. So what you are going to do now, be a boundary crosser. Like, share, subscribe. Have a blessed day.